Hi, my name is Liz Masharia, and I'm the product manager for Pilot Devices at Eaton. Today, I'd like to introduce you to our 30 millimeter push button line, the 10 to 50T. Eaton's 10 to 50T features a complete line of reliable and heavy duty pilot devices that come with a zinc base, die casting, and a chrome plated finish. This durable construction enables our 10 to 50T pilot devices to withstand some of the most rugged conditions. In fact, all of our push buttons are watertight and oil tight, and they are conducive for many industrial environments. The 10 to 50T also carries the most rugged ratings, including NEMA 4X, 12, 13. And we also offer a complete line of products for class one, div two hazardous locations. Now let's take a closer look at our 10 to 50T line. From the front of a panel, you'll notice that we offer a wide selection of push button styles, including standard push buttons, selective switches, pilot lights, keyed operators, and emergency stops, as well as free assemble control stations with emergency stops. Our buttons are wear resistant and come with illuminated and non-illuminated options. From the back of our panel, you'll notice our rugged contact blocks. These happen to be NEMA 4X rating contact blocks. Our contact blocks are enclosed with silver contacts with pointed reliability nibs. These nibs bite through oxide, which can form on silver contacts, which eliminates the need for expensive logic level blocks. The nibs are also self-adjusting, so no matter the conditions of the environment you're operating, such as dry circuit or fine dust, you're guaranteed over secure contact your operator. Our 10 to 50 T operators also come with a diaphragm seal and drainage holes, which are unique to Eaton. The diaphragm seals prevent buildup of liquid inside the operator, especially in freezing conditions. And the drainage hole protects the operator by draining liquid, which is a great feature for high pressure washdowns. Also on the operators are these four built-in metal points. These grounding nibs bite through most paints and other coatings on metal panels, which ensures a secure ground. And you also don't have to buy a separate grounding kit. Now I'd like to demonstrate how to install our 10 to 50 T's. First, you want to make sure that you have all the components required for your assembly, starting with the mounting nut, the operator. In this case, I have a standard push button. I'm also incorporating a legend plate for this demonstration, but you can pick from other custom designs that we offer. And lastly, I have a contact block, screwdriver, and a 10 to 50 T wrench. First, locate the anti-rotation nib by peeling back the diaphragm seal. Insert the operator from the back of a panel and align the anti-rotation nib to the notch on your panel. On some operators, we've added a text inscribed at the letters top and an arrow pointing up so that you're assured that your operator is mounted in the right position. Insert the mounting nut and I'm using a wrench to secure the operator firmly to the panel. Then you will screw in the contact block to the operator. Make sure to align the screws on the contact block to the holes in the back of your operator and screw firmly. And now you can wire your contact block as needed. For other heavy duty 30 millimeter push buttons, including our anodized aluminum HT800, the E34, which is our non-corrosive line, and our E30 square push button line, check out our website at the bottom of the screen. Thanks for watching.